In the previous video, we set up and designed a really cool blend space animation with this character. So let's just take a look at what he's doing here in the level. Looks really cool. The only problem is he's running and jumping in place. And what we want to do with him with cinematics, or if we're doing a animation for, for film, is we need the character to be moving, not just not just running in place like this. So what we need to do is animate the root root bone. And let's start by going to the animation starter pack. And let's find the jog forward rifle animation. So let's go ahead and, and select our jog forward rifle animation and make a copy of it. Right click, select duplicate. It's going to put a one at the end of the name or rename it, whatever you'd like. I'm just going to keep it as Jog Forward Rifle 1. Double click on the animation. And let's just go ahead and bring it up here and open up the new window. Let's press F. Alt key, left mouse button to turn around. I want to kind of get a side view. Okay, so we have a, a really nice animation here running in place. What we want to do is we want to make the character actually move, be going somewhere, not just jogging in place. So let's click pause. We notice here that it's 44 frames in the animation. It's just repeating over and over again. But in order for him to be running a long distance, he needs to have more frames added. So go ahead and let's click Make sure that the playhead is on the end, end frame. Right click, select append at the end, and let's just go ahead and add about 450 frames at the end. So we'll give it a nice long running cycle. And let's press our, or bring our playhead to the frame zero, and watch what happens when it gets to frame 44. Okay, he just he just stops. And that's all. We have we have no way to cycle through this. So he's just going to be running for 44 frames and then stopping, which presents us with a problem. So how are we going to extend the frames and cycle that animation over and over for the full length? Well, what we have to do is we have to record in real time up to the 500 frames or however long we want it. So let's go ahead and click out of here. Let's go back over here to our jog forward rifle again and let's duplicate it. We'll add a number two to the end. Double click to open it. So now we have our, our character jogging in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to record in real time by clicking on the record button. Select the content or wherever you'd like to save the animation. And I'm going to call this one long run anim. And as you can see, we're recording three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, and so on. And I just want to record probably about 30 seconds of him running just to give us enough time. You just run, 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 run. When you feel like you have enough time in the animation, just click the red button down here to stop recording. And let's go ahead and open up our animation. We can see up here at the top that this is our new animation, long run animation. Let's go ahead and stop him. Over here in our content tab, we should have our animation, our long run animation, down here. So we have a long 
animation, about 30 seconds long, but he's still jogging in place. So let's turn to the side. Let's reframe our window so we can get a wide view here. Move our playhead to the very beginning frame. And here's our guy just running, running, running in place. So, what we want to do is we want to click the root over here in the skeleton tree to the left. Click on the root bone. Up here, select on the translate tool. And let's move him way back to the beginning. Or to the edge, I should say, of the platform. Is it the edge of the platform right now? Go up here and select the key button. This has now created our first keyframe in that position for our root bone and we're ready to move it forward. So now we'll let him run for a while, moving our playhead ahead, and then just grab this and move him forward. Go up here, press the key frame button. You can also hit S on your keyboard if you'd like to do it that way. Now we'll back up. Let me click off of him so we can see a little bit better. Click play. And now he's moving forward. Now you're going to have to take a little bit of time because it looks like his, his feet are sliding a little bit because he's not running quite fast enough. So this is where you'll go, you know, zoom in closer. Select the root bone. And you can actually go, he actually needs to move a little bit faster. So you can adjust this keyframe right here. Yeah, that looks a little better right there. See, now he's running in place again. So, what we do is we just keep doing that process. Move forward. Move your character forward. Press the key button. It's putting a keyframe up here. Still running too slow. So move that keyframe a little bit up and forward. Okay. And we just continue on. Press the key button. Forward, press the key button. All the way to the end. We're going to run out of platforms, so he's going to just be running on air, but that's okay. And press the key button. Okay, now let's press play. And we can watch our character as he's running a long distance across the platform. Again, you're going to need some ta to take some time and adjust the keyframes to where they each time his foot is planted on the ground, you know, it matches. You don't want to have any foot slipping going on. And that's just adjusting these keyframes to the uh, speed of his of his jog cycle. And here he is running again.
Okay, let's click Apply. And we've now finished with our long run animation. Let's go over to our, our map or our level, wherever you want to put it. And let's find our long run animation. Here he is right here. We gotta find him. Where did he go? There he is. I'm gonna go to the top view so I can. Looks like we got him facing the wrong direction. Get back in here. We really should readjust the pivot. Okay, there's our character way in the distance. Let's go ahead and click play. And there he is running. Still got a little bit of foot slippage there, so the speed of the forward motion needs to be adjusted. Okay, let's get that. Let's select our character, right click, go down to pivot, set pivot offset here. So it puts it right on the character, and then select pivot again, and then set as pivot offset so it should stay there. It's easier to move the character now. Oops. Get you in the sun. Move you back a little bit. And there we go. So that is how you get your character to move forward instead of just jogging in place. And there he goes off in the distance. So play around with that. Just um, fine tune that forward motion of the root bone animation and you'll be good to go. Here he comes again. And that's it for this video.